Welcome back to the 75 gallon mixed reef aquarium. Today we'll talk about some of the bird's nests, SBS corals, and some of the intermediate acros. All three dwarf angels are doing well. And these are my intermediate acros. Um, there's, uh, there's about five over in that area. So here are some the green Pasilopora and the red Pasilopora and of course good old green's bird's nest. Jumping into feeding, it looks like things are going well. I did add some new um, products, um, replenish the Cellcon. I added AquaPower for the first time, but a thousand milliliters of that. Been dosing 15 milliliters to the tank. And going forward, I've been focusing more on Zoas. Glad to see these green Zoas are making a comeback. They were one of my first corals. Here's the Aqua Power. Also wanted to try this can macro clam, and then there's a glass bottle of clam juice that I've been soaking my frozen cubes that I feed roughly about five of them daily. And so we're gonna give this a try. I was looking at the ingredients on the back and it doesn't seem to have anything that would harm my reef. I will more than likely buy the clam juice again, but I may not buy the, the canned stuff again. But I thought I'd give it a try. I'll freeze some of it and make some homemade fish food, more than likely. Uh, just checking out the ingredients on the back. And leave a comment down below if you used any of these products or if you think I should not use them or your personal experiences with making your own fish food. Something I want to get a little bit more into, but I have almost a year's supply of San Francisco Bay Bram cubes, so I am good for 2019. And I will mostly be supplementing my feeding with this canned food. And so here we are over, I'm up to feeding five frozen cubes per day. Uh, the one that has the handle that you'll see in a few um, goes to the freshwater tank. But we feed one cube of the angel formula, cyclops and the reef plankton are counted as one, mice shrimp, and then I feed usually an entire row of the reef multi-pack which actually has uh, fish eggs in it. And then I usually soak them either in salt con or now this clam juice. And here's just a quick demonstration of how I thaw out my food. So that is reef plankton and cyclops. And then the one to the right, the green stuff is spirulina and probably brine shrimp. The other one is the angel formula. Keeping up with my water changes, still using the Red Sea Salt Blue Bucket. And here's a look at the reef tank. Things are doing well. I promised myself I wouldn't buy any more corals. I'm running out of space to place them. Hopefully in the future I'll upgrade to a six foot long tank, but until then, we'll work with what we have. 
Hard to believe this tank's been up for four years and six months. So I have two uh, brute trash cans. These are 20 gallons. Um, I exclusively use Fluval heaters. And I believe these are 200 watt heaters that I use to heat up the salt. Um, I want to say it's about 10 and a half or 11 cups of the salt in 20 gallons. Um, and then once it's mixed with the Tunzi pump, I bring it up to temperature, which is about 78 and a half. And then I, this is the dirty water coming out of the tank. And that is basically my water change. So we'll do a close up of some of the corals. Uh, I've been focusing again mostly on zoas recently. And all the other corals are doing well. There is a little bit of stinging going on, crowding. Everything is figuring out its spot in the tank. Uh, no new livestock, all the fish are doing well. I did purchase some more blue leg. And there's the Oompa Loompa. Zoas, Utter Chaos. Um, acros one two three four there's five in that little area right there and of course my pride and joy the red goniapora I uh, love my orange recordia floridas thanks for watching till next time